Well, how do that jumps it is I, Captain Stephen. Today I'm firing up a creative save. Now the idea is I'm going to go to a station, buy a shed load of stuff, then go over to the Nexus and get my actual worm egg, and I'm going to try and make its head change to some of the instances that they showed in the patch notes of how much variety they've brought to the worms, because I'm hoping that same variety also applies to our wormy-like pets. Heck yes, so we're going to be giving that a go in today's episode. We're going to try and Frankenstein our worms, people. Heck yes, I'll see you at the station. Being that this is creative mode, I've got umpteen billion units. Yes, infinite supply. Exo, it's up a funky tune while I buy stuff. Captain Steve, Captain Steve, Captain, Captain. Righty ho then, I am up inside of the Nexus, and now I need to go and claim my wormy sort of surprise. Before I do that, I'm just going to move this out of the way so I can collect my wormy sort of surprisey type egg. So let's head on over to see the Quicksilphysis Roppy Art, Mr. Johnny Five. Hello there, buddy. Yes, I want my sandworm egg. Thanking you, sir. Lovely. I'm going to jump back into my ship, out of my ship, create an autosave so I don't have to do that step all over again. Heck yes, because we could be respawning and re sort of hatching our egg over and over again chums yeah so we're going to go through the whole of the inventory of what i bought inside the station you'd like to hope that at least one or two of those will cause a different variant to the worm type head so here we go let's head on up my first sort of thing that i want to do to this i'm going to stick in the dirt heck yes i am dirt oh it's only 23 percent dose you know what i'm going to stick in another load of dirt just to up it i want it a little bit higher than 23 percent yes so we go Let's, uh, let's do that again. Hubbly jubbly. It's not letting me interact. There we go. Now it is. Lovely. Just do a little sort of dance in front of it. There we go. Lovely. And we're putting in the other dirt. Boom. That's another 23%. So 23 and 23. Almost that. 46, isn't it? That'd probably do the trick. That's probably Frankensteined it enough. Let's give it a little bit of a hatch. It does say there that the autonomy is unstable here we go then let's uh let's hit this up and let's see what it's done to my egg lovely so you know what the main worm looks like when you first hatch it it's got sort of like the three part split mouth and uh, lots of gnarly legs running down the side it looks very centipede like doesn't it so we go let's hatch my egg oh my days it has changed he's got a spiky bum and he's got an ugly face look at that Oh my days, that looks pretty darn freaking ugly as hell, doesn't it? Okay, well then, that, that changed. That's pretty darn freaking lickety split, isn't it? Lovely job. Yes, spiky little wormy dude. Nice, well, it that worked. Cool. Right, well, I'm going to try again. I'm going to try something else, and we'll see if we get a different result. Heck yes, this is pretty darn freaking sweet. Awesome, let's do a reload him and load load. Important announcement time, if you haven't already liked and subscribed and hit all the other sort of shenanigans that you can hit, or even shared this video out so some of your friends are playing No Mandy Sky, maybe it's time that you did. Heck yes, if you like him what you see, with your eyeballs and hear him with your ear holes, please do. Until next time. Important announcement over. So here we go, we're going to head on up and we're going to try and Frankenstein a different worm out of the egg machine. Heck yes, yeah. so let's go and hit on up another ingredients. So we are, there's the egg machine right at the back over by Kronos. And we're going to stick our egg in the first sort of slot. So here we go, let's open this up. It does remind me of the thing out of freaking Pokemon. Don't, 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 don't. There we go, stick that into there. And this time I'm going to go with the oxygen. Heck yes! Right, well that's a 96% dose. Lovely. This is really going to freaking mutate the little get, isn't it? There we go. Brilliant. We've now got our little baby egg unstable yet again. And let's hit on up and hatch this egg. Exciting times. Here we are. Let's put it in the centre there. And hatch a mondo. Where's he gone? Right, I'm going to have to use my menu to call him in, aren't I? There we are. Brilliant. There he is. Where me went? Oh. Okay, it's exactly the same as when I used the dirt. What's the chances of that? 
Not, yeah, not great. Well, we've done a reload. We're going up. We're going to try another resource. And we're going to see if we get a different mutant worm. Okay, third time lucky. Let, let's try again. Here we are. Let's see if we get a different worm this time. Egg machine. What are you going to give us? Egg machine. My dream machine. The egg machine. Right here. We're going to use that. We're using sodium. And again, that's, that's quite unstable. It's quite a high dosage of unstableness. Brilliant. Come on, my little wormy. Let's hatch my little wormy friend and see what we get this time. Okay. Now, if we get the same worm again, I think that's all the sort of variants we're going to get. Yes. Look, it's the same freaking worm again with the spiky butt and the, um, yeah, this, I don't know how to explain its front end. It looks like one of those pepper grinders or something, doesn't it? Yes. Not all inspiring not the lovely sort of worminess that i would like to see heck no well we're back again and this time i'm hitting in this little chappy yes and we're going to be hitting that up so yeah unstable pyrite or grease or something boom and uh, yeah so you can see here i'm using quite a bevy of different ingredients am i going to get myself a different result here we are let's uh, hit this up and see what we get chicka boom and it looks exactly the same as the last two. You know what? I think it doesn't matter what you put into this gene splicing. You're only going to get this as the result. Now, I did find this with some other of the other animals on planets, like the beetles and things like that. You already got a very sort of slight variance in how it looks, no matter what you put in there, which is a real freaking shame. Uh, yeah, because they could have really gone to town with this and given us a lot of different results that we could have got. Or maybe I'm just being extremely unlucky. But to be unlucky this many times in a row, I would say that's that's something else. I would say that's rather than unlucky. I would say that's, you know, dev that way. It's been programmed that way. Arson biscuits. Well, here we go. We're trying this one now. So, yeah, what's that bromide salt that I'm going for here? Boom. And let's see what we get. You can probably tell that my excitedness has gone down quite by quite a lot of levels. Yeah, so I've done something very similar with beetles when we first got the beetles drop. And, yeah, the only thing I was getting I, was a different sort of head. But I was only getting one type of different head, depending on the beetle that I put in. So, yeah, I, I don't think this is going to do anything, people. From previous experience. I think these are sort of genetically locked, but I could be wrong. If you have managed to have a better result, please hit me up in the comments with what you used and I will try that. But yeah, I'm seeming to only get this one sort of worm type result. So here we go, let's put in platinum. Now platinum is great for growth and is usually great for doing different things to these creatures, but we shall see if we have a better result or whether we're going to get another one of those sort of gut worm looking ones, you know, with the pepper grinder head and the spiky butt. Nope, that's exactly what I got yet again. So uh, I think we're probably just, let's just try the unstable plasma, you know, for grenade launchers, because that's completely different to all the other resources, isn't it? That It's a consumable it's one that I would use quite often. So here we go. Let's give this a try. And yeah, unstable yet again. And let's hit it up. But I bet you I get the pepper grinder head. Type worm. There we are. That menu popping up every time is a pain in the freaking butt. Right, there we go. Boom. And yes, it's exactly the same freaking worm. Right, oh, jumps. Well, I think you can see that I tried enough resources to give this a good enough try. And I must say, chums, I'm a little bitterly disappointed. In a procedurally generated universe, where we know that they've created lots of different wormy type heads for our pet worms because of the patch notes, yes, so if you just hatch it straight from the word go, this is what you get. And I think this is far better a worm than the worms that I've been hatching by actually mutating the dang blasted thing. So there you go. I'll let you guys be the decision, but I, you know what? I don't think it's even worth freaking mutating these things. Until next time, people, you've been awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I'll just take care. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.